What's that round pink thing? Round thing? Is that a star? Left, what? down. Oh, here? Yeah. Sea star, maybe? Yeah, sea star. It is, a, yeah. But it's, uh, its arms are like all the same, like, there's not, they're not points, they're all just like, connect, uh, webbed together. It looks like it should be a species of cushion star. What type of star? Cushion. Cushion? Yeah. Cushion, oh. It does look like a cushion. Technically, we're looking for cushion stars. It's just Over not zoom? the one we're looking for, unless it's something new. Whoa. Oh, it right. looks like it has it that boitriodal texture. <laughs> that's that's the word of the trip, boitriodal texture. Science, do you want to stop? Um, uh, I think we're good. I yeah, guess we can It's not on. one of our target species, but it's good to get a good document of photos of it. So I think we're good. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Is thank that you. a mouth at the very top? Um, no, that's just um, what's we're looking for. It's where like water intake goes in for them as a specific. To move. Thing. No, f to keep their hydrostatic skeleton intact mm -hmm. and to allow them move and breathe and process water and get the oxygen. They're like homeostasis. Homeostasis. Well, to achieve homeostasis, yes. Yeah. But yeah, we should go back and find that sn snipe eel, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that may be one of my favorite things that we've seen on our walk. Well, especially if it's Massive. not been seen in the Pacific before. Yeah. That's What's very a cool. Things sticking what a off the unit. coral there, the gray. <laughs> what? Uh, Venus flytrap. Is it Venus, Venus flytrap? Fly yeah. Okay. Is it? Where? A quick zoom. Yeah, quick zoom. We're gonna fall behind quick though. So yeah, it's a Venus flytrap. Oh, okay. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Just look a little gray from the distance. <gasps> it's seasick. Oh, wow. <laughs> what is it? You guys were rehearsing that. I know, I was thinking, what is, what is the thing that Owen Wilson <laughs> says? Wow. Wow. It wow. is wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. But he says it in a way that like nobody can imitate. Yeah, no. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Like, I can't do it. You know, every time you say that, Bella has to look away from her chemistry. <laughs> oh, is she still studying? Uh, yeah, she is. <laughs> she said she needs all the. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I Bella! Was like, I was like, when, every, when I was like, everybody is rushing you like support. She's like, honestly, I need it. <laughs> I need all the luck I can get. Been there. I uh, know. I was like, I get it. <laughs> I think she's taking, um, what is the one? O-chem? Oh, yeah, I, that's one I avoided. I, I knew I wasn't going to do all of that. Yeah, I think that's what she's yeah, in right now. Right. Takes a very special person to do well in O-chem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why she said she needs all the, all the luck she can get. <laughs> Now that I think about it, it's probably yeah. is like around exam time. First, like exams. That's like Tori's what? specialty. No, it's September. Yeah. How can you have exams in September? Well, we started in like Push. August, and yep. I know uh, like midterms. Yeah, Ooh, not not zoom. midterms, Coming but like in. usually at least the classes I would take, we would separate oh. into three. What is that one? Oh, Tribe. that's weird. Hard like. Mm -hmm. Look at his little eyes. <laughs> <laughs> they look like. Evil eye. <laughs> and I don't see anything behind there, honestly. <laughs> no, no. No. <laughs> no, no, I meant like the, the Greek thing. <laughs> Turkish. The Turkish thing. Okay. Sebastian, did you imply it has no soul? No, I have implied it has a knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> So that has, a, that has a, uh, like a caudal fin and stuff. Yeah, it has like a caudal fin and it has that little spiky little fin antenna. out the front. I was going to say It's, a, it's it not looks an like antenna, a gatherform type of fish, but I'm trying to find the species. Yeah, I'll find it eventually. We gotta get shots of it. Yeah, I got some good ones in the still cam too. Going to waypoint five. Uh, good job. 
Oh, well, if that, we get to wave point five, that'll be. We're, just that'll book, be we're booking it. Mm -hmm. Do you guys want to slow down? Or are nope. You no. <laughs> we're making a progress. No, no. You can go up to him. Coming up. Oh, I think earlier I was doing a ship to shore and I was showing them the live stream and y'all uh, sampled the shrimp. Yeah. Yeah. You did. We that, got really lucky. That was lucky. like forever ago. That, was a, <laughs> yeah. that shrimp was the bane of all of our ship's existence. I could Try like hear y'all's all all like, response every single afterwards. time. <laughs> Jacob did a great job getting that shrimp, slurping it up. That was great. Very skillful. Yeah. Uh, I was dreaming about it for the last week after we went to the <laughs> Then he woke up this morning and was like, you know what? Today I'm going to do it. Today's the day. <laughs> was it like the white and red one that we were looking yeah. at a while exactly. ago? Yeah, exactly. Is that another one? Is that true? Speak uh, and it shall appear. I think, it's, I think they said that that, the one, the, whoa. I think it would say, wow. <laughs> I was thinking yeah, that the there. shrimp that we were looking at was hanging out on the sponge. And you said that so huge. we want them because they hang out on that sponge. Yeah. <laughs> and they hang out on the soft corals as well. But they seem to be more primarily Whoa. hanging out on the glass It looks sponges. like these just run the this. entire cliff edge. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, is that diking? No. no. This is sheet flow. Sheet flow. Or maybe it's low bait. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, I changed my mind. Oh. I changed my mind. I think. Let's see. Wow. Look, this coral. It must have been big. Yeah. Look at all that. I know. I'm looking at, so apparently the snipe eel has not been confirmed in Pacific, but there have been larval samples possibly taken, identified from the Pacific. Um, so that's unusual. It looks like it matches the genus Neosema. It has the red coloration, uh, yeah, the bobtail, yeah. and the snipe eel beaks. Yeah. So I'm wondering if it is some uh, species that's in the Yosema that is found in the Pacific for the first time, possibly. Hmm. That's cool. Wow. I, I can uh, concur with you that looking at it on the website that you were showing <laughs> it's, is... It's Wikipedia. Um, but, I know, I know, I know. Um, no one is going to mess with Wikipedia pages this niche, so it's usually okay. pretty trustworthy. Um, but I can also use the links to look further on the papers as well. Let's mm. see. Just do the pro move and cite the Wikipedia sources. Oh, I've had to make a Wikipedia page for one of my classes, one of my geology classes. That was stressful. Mm-hmm. I had to make one about Kingfish Basin. Now I'm about to look it up. Had one not existed? Wait, do not look it up. <laughs> <laughs> do not look it up. <laughs> do not. <laughs> Please. Uh, I'm not going to tell you where it is, though. <laughs> no. Eel. Eel. Eel? Where? Where? Oh, I see it. Well, there it is. Go for zoom. Zoom, I. Oh my god. Zoom, bing. Uh, that's rat tail. Rat tail, not eel. I didn't publish it, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't see it. I, I didn't because I was <laughs> terrified. Why? Because. <laughs> because of, 
I don't know. It, it seems daunting to put something on Wikipedia. Right. <laughs> I found a king Urchin. fish basin. Oh, is that oh, it? God. Oh, that's SCG wiki. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Yeah, no. Is it Australia's largest producer? Yeah, oil yeah, field? that is mine. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I don't know. If, I don't. I don't. I didn't do SEG. I didn't do that. Mine's also way longer than that. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. Like, maybe I'll have to go, go look for it just to prove how much yeah, work I put I into that. Yeah, Okay. And learn all the incorrect things about Kingfish Basin. <laughs> Oh, it should be right. <laughs> I got a good grade on it. So. Okay. I learned a lot about Australia's basin, hmm. the largest oil field basin. Oh, yeah. Do we know how much we've already covered? Like how much ground we've covered? Yeah, we're almost at waypoint five. No, but like. I think we've covered as much as the entire rest of the dive has. Like vertical or over ground? Ground. Derek's got his abacus out over there. He's working <laughs> on it. <laughs> abacus. Thank you, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious. Abacus. Shrimp. 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 Oh. That's a, that type of shrimp is exactly what the snipeels are looking for. Oh. oh. Watch out, shrimp. We could yeah. grab the <laughs> shrimp and bring it back as bait to get the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Baited ROV. Not that we were actually even seriously considering sampling it, but that would be a case where we would not because it's the the first and only that we've seen. So mm -hmm. yeah, just to just to put that out there, we weren't even considering it, but we wouldn't have. You could change the future if you do that. Yep. Are you excited for something specific at Waypoint 5, or are you just rocks. like that we're well, well, she gets another I'm going to get another rocks. rock, oh, so. Okay. I, <laughs> I think that might be the last space we have, though, so you want to be up. judicious. <laughs> no? Uh, sure. <laughs> is, is, I just want it to come off of the seafloor when we grab it. <laughs> I just hope it yeah, but is Waypoint 5 like the last good spot to get one or do you want to wait? Uh, well, I really don't want anything on top yeah, of that's the Geo, so okay. So yeah, I that would, would be rather, the last spot. Yes, I okay. would rather right before Waypoint Okay, just five. checking. Okay. It's a good uh, Atlanta you know, view. You know. Oh, I do like the Atlanta view. I'm going to highlight that. Seeing current pickup. Oh, uh, these are massive. I love this. I don't know <laughs> what it is, but I love it. Like These look like di What is this? Yeah, what's this morphology? I know. I'm. I'm looking. I'm. I want to say that there was a dike, but 
I don't, I couldn't tell because the texture as it continued kind of made me second guess myself. Oh, I kind of like that. <laughs> Whoa. Man. That is very cool looking. The rock at the oh base, too. The rock, too. yeah. Yeah. It's tree trunk corals. Yeah, it's sturdy bases. Yeah. Especially since we're going up a ridge. Oh, that's a wall. I'm expecting to see more like crumbling. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, is there more current action? Mm -hmm. Or why are you expecting more crumbling? Just because it's a ridge, so I imagine like the top being like fine, and then once it slopes down on either side, it's just gonna kind of like break apart. Oh. Or we can look. That's or it could not do that. Or it could not do that. <laughs> but there was, before this one, there was an area. Okay. I'm going to take that audio clip and hack my truck's backup detector to have Mike saying, oh, that's a wall. <laughs> yeah. It was. Or just I, I get close I stand to by something my, backing up. Yeah, I that stand was, by my definition. That was excellent geology. And you, you can cut that in too. Hannah, when you were talking about the breaking up and the crumbling, yeah. Is that something that would happen um, like while the lava was cooling or afterwards is like after? Well after. I think just over time. Yeah, I mean, water, whether it's moving or not, is it can be a very destructive force for a lot of things. Rock, seashore, ships. <laughs> um, you know, so I think I think all types of rock will eventually weather. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's where we get sediments and sedimentary r rocks from. So more follow-up <laughs> on the snipe eel. Okay. Um, there is a species that is... Um, Worldwide in the or in distribution. Oh, okay. However, it does not match the description of ours. All right. It's yeah. Well, we can. Uh, I'm sure you know, have colleagues that can confirm the identification. Yeah. We can grab you a screenshot. Yeah, I could definitely could use that. Yeah. That's but I think cool. I got enough on my own that I can easily pull. Okay. Uh, sea spider. Where? Or is that a squat? That might be a squat. That's a squat. <laughs> yeah. Got me excited. Too bad. <laughs> awesome. Oh, sailing. Mission Landing. Impossible Landing drop. Gear. Stuck it. Take a picture. That's a really take a cool picture. Rock. Yeah, I know. Take a picture, please, Sebastian, I'm and be like, never mind. It's I'm fine. It. It's fine. I, no, I can write it. Oh, you did it? I took a picture. I can still write. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so can you write... Um, R O C K. <laughs> Low bait flow question mark. 
Thank you. What did we start at? 2,600 meters? 2,400? 20, uh, 20, yeah. 2,600. Cut, cut that in half. I cannot wait to find out what flow that is. I really am looking forward. Wow. Oh. Uh -huh. Wow, that one's an especially thick one. I wonder how big it is compared to Hercules. Um, well, I'm trying to see do it in zoom Atlanta, on your camera? Atlanta. Uh, Tito, can I zoom on yours? Yeah. I might need to push uh, or tilt up. There's Whoa. a shot in Atlanta that gives you a size difference. Whoops, I'm still zooming, sorry. I can't stop it from zooming. Wow. Sorry, Jake. Not you, Jake. Video, Jake. There we go. So, wider? Yeah. Well, that's why we're booking it to wave point five. <laughs> yeah. So, Coming we're just going to get it right over here. Yeah. Sorry about the overexposure on the Zeus. There is some volcanic stuff up there. Yeah, so yeah. Derek, we're just ch yeah. chatting back here. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Anna's going to want to rock maybe like Spoke two inches below waypoint five on your screen. Yeah. Or so, an inch, inch, to, inch and a half or so. Just, I mean, n nothing to do now, but just yeah. to be aware, we'll want to slow down and stop to grab something there. But if it, if we're still on watch. Yeah, that's the where your mouse is. That's correct. Where I where I want to go. Yeah. It's dumb and dumber. Well, according to the map, we've only gone an inch. <laughs> it's one of my favorite lines. Thank you, Derek. <laughs> it's the perfect navigation line. Yeah. Yeah, we're trying to go as fast as possible. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Especially because I didn't Yikes. get a rock on the first walk. Sorry, that was my fault. I, I hit the like, wrong light. I need two. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Five. Bye. Thanks, Rennie. So for the viewer who wanted to know, how do you say wow in Olelo Hawaii? So a good word would be kupaya naha, which means surprising, strange, wonderful, amazing, extraordinary. So what we are seeing, kupaya naha. Kupaya naha? Kupaya naha. Ku okay, wait, let's do that again. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes, we'll do it together. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay. repeat after me. Ku, ku, pai, pai, a, a, naha. Naha. Okay, now let's put it all together. Okay, okay after me. Ku, pai, a, naha. Ku, pai, a, naha. That's what we're seeing. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, funny little story, but. Me and Kukui, we were, so we're roommates, and one night I was like trying to pronounce Papa Hanau Makoa Kea, and we we just kept saying it back and forth to each other until like I was getting it right, and I think the hardest part was saying Hanau. Yeah, me too. That was the hardest, and she kept she kept like saying Hanau, Hanau, yeah. and I was just like, oh my gosh, I need to do this right. I got corrected on that earlier today too. Yeah, Papa just practice Makuakea. it. Yeah, absolutely. I'll just start it. Ch chanting it in in our room, like uh -huh. Papa Hanau Makoa. Well, if, if I stop to think about it, because you taught us in March in in Rhode Island, if I stop and think about it, I'll get it right. But it, if I just say it like as a sentence and I'm going, mm -hmm. I say it the way that I 
used to think it was pronounced. Yeah, and even the word like hanal, that means to give birth. So. Yep. That's, For so yeah. women who have given birth, when you say hanal, <laughs> you're feeling it. Hanal. <laughs> 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 <So>, hanal. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. We're going to record a video later of We are. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Teaching so people how to practice saying it. <laughs> put on social media. It looks very, um, you know, it's intimidating when you look at the word in its mm -hmm. length. But once you kind of break it up and understand the meaning behind it, it helps you to kind of get that in your head and be able to, you know, say it properly. That's what I was trying to do when I was learning the names of my seamounts. And I was like, okay, I need to write them how I would say them so that it would help me mm -hmm. say it. I'm still trying to practice those. I'm still not at, to where I am with Papa Hanau Makoa Kea. Yep, and we're all learning, right? We all right. different languages and we're all in that place of being like students. So it's awesome that you're trying. We should do a what we just did, we should do that every watch. We should get like a new word and just, you try we to should. teach us. Yeah, word that would shift. be a great idea. Yes. Wow, what very large female sponge. sponge. Web. I love, a what, is, of this, some sort? what is it like, what? mohair? What is that, what is that fabric? Huh, isn't that wow. like a larvation that's caught up on the rock? Uh, uh -huh. A secretion from a fish? It looks like there's some kind of secretion. I'm not sure if it's specifically a larvation. Uh, no. See those on descent a lot. Like this. And we haven't seen this urchin. Yeah, Isn't this, this the is first time we've seen that? That's what it reminds me of. Sorry. Going in. Oh, you're coming out. There it is. That's the texture that it reminds uh, me of. Is that a crab up there? Didn't crab? Look like, yeah. I left. Um, Bingo. Nope. Left the lasers. Grab. Mm. So about There's another one of those secretions above the crab. It's weird not seeing the crab on like a coral. Yeah. And he's just on a rock, which is cool, too. A lot of those large wow. base, like, demo sponges. That's a really cool rock hand. I know. It's great. It's doing its thing. The rock? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just sitting there and looking pretty. That's all it needs to do. <laughs> Oh, look. Oh, that's a cool looking one. The I Dale, Dale Chihuly sponge. Dale Chihuly, what? You know, no, I worked mine. in his museum for a bit. You did? Yeah, at Chihuly in Seattle. Yeah. He was a very eccentric guy. Yep. You know, he looks like a pirate. Yeah, it's from a car accident, though, not from glass blowing. Yeah. That's a Northwest glass artist. Yeah, very famous for making glass look fluid. Uh, the Venetian, is it the Venetian? No, what's Bellagio has a huge display above the lobby in Vegas. This coral, I'm just to. like amazed by the base. I know, it's like I know. A whole tree. I, it's like Christmas tree and the little squatted lobsters are like ornaments. Oop. Wow. Just imagine trying to sample the whole thing and just bring it on our back with the oh tie to the back of her and just bring it up. <laughs> it's like a Christmas plates. tree. <laughs> <laughs> we still have an hour and seven um, minutes. Asako, the blue dots are very small cup anemones. Cup corals. Cup corals, sorry. Um, we had several zooms, but we happened to get our chance we can zoom in for you. We did collect a sample. We did it. Also, we did click sample. Yes, that was on our. We I believe I was on um, having dinner and we mm -hmm. collected during that time. So we should have one previously Asaka that you can look at.
Oh, wait, you meant the, li the dot lines on the right when we were looking at that first bunch, actually. Um, we did get a close enough look at that. Um, I didn't mark it, but if you look for a large demo sponge on ship house, you should be able to find it. So Honestly, this and could look like a glove. Like a, like <laughs> yeah, I see that. Oh. Someone's like climbing out from under yeah, the rock. Yeah, yeah. Oh, can we get a zoom in on what's around the sponge over here for Osaka? The, we'll find uh, the rock sponge. One on the bottom right? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, wait, that was really bad. So I'm so where bad. Do you want, where do we want it? On uh, those little lines above that oh. big yeah, sponge. This, yeah, I meant to. <laughs> All right, go over zoom. Coming in. They look like little veins. I thought there was some type of coral earlier. What is that? Some of them don't look connected. Yeah. You can see some of them, though. They yeah. have little white polyps. <gasps> That's so cool. That's so cool. What? It looks so yeah. cool. Oh, yeah. The still camera image is great. Do you know what these are, Asako? Yes, this is what I mentioned. Is it the Solonophorus octocoro that she mentioned? Yeah, Solonophorus. Coming out. Okay. Sorry. Current's pretty strong. Yeah, I saw that. Solonophorus octocoro. Wait, no. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, we can get all the all of these from the data lab. That crap. Look how cute. It is cute. And then I'm seeing these like look like branching primnoids starting to appear too. Oh my. Jeez. Jesus. Hi, please. Oh Those my are gosh. George to cave worthy. Oh my. Oh my. Oh God. my. <laughs> What is that at the very top of the screen? Is it eel? Yeah, that's an eel. Oh, that looks like the one that we saw in the beginning. Bridge now. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, this morning. There's a basket, um, squats. She's asking for a zoom in on the Try white the one on the left, if possible. The white one. one. The big white one. Zero point four knots. All right. Yes, thank you. Beep, beep, beep. RVs in reverse. We're about to get a zoom in on it for you, Osaka. Go for zoom. Gone in. Oh, I barely have control of that. <gasps> wow. Wow. Oh, wait, we have to say Hawaiian word. Oh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> What? It's poo. Is it poo? 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 We might need some help here, Malia. <laughs> Somebody write it down. Yeah, I'll write it down. I'll write it down. I also need to write this. So poo pai anaha. Poo pai anaha. Hana? Anaha. 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 I'm not. I'm gonna try and come out. I think out. we're good on oh, Zoom. Too late. Thank you guys. Coming out. Cuckoo pie. Yeah, Anaha. we're good. Oh, what's that red? This woman. It's red. Look at it go. Probably in our uh, prop wash. So. Poster wash. Cuckoo pie Hanaha. That's it? I think it's just one Kupa Anaha. 
Kupai Anaha. Kupai. Kupai Anaha. 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 Kupai Anaha. Oh, yeah. Kupai Anaha. Oh, yeah. That looks like a victim of uh, so gravity. So Asako thinks flow. that white, big white paragorgid could be the full adult version of that very tiny ah. white coral that we were young corals that we were seeing earlier. Oh wow! Huh. We'll come back in uh, thirty twenty three and see how it's doing. That is a good question. Mm. Yeah, she notes that the polyp and the branch colors are exactly matching. Yeah, so there was a question in the chat um, if Olelo Hawaii um it's a language of animacy like the way they describe embracing sweetgrass and so um i would say that the hawaiian perspective is that all objects are not objects but animate um so pohaku have life rocks um organisms are kin are ohana so everything that's living in the world including water um lava Pohaku rocks, um, the air, um, these are all animate, meaning that they contain life. Another highlight, please. So I think if that was a question, what? then it is similar to other indigenous um, cultures. I'm sorry, I got distracted there. Can you repeat that? Who are you talking to? Oh, oh we thought Oh, okay. Never mind. Oh, I wasn't sure if you were talking oh, about so, that. Someone said someone something. Said something. Yeah, I, I think know. they said another highlight, another highlight, please. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know who it was, but yeah. I'm taking a highlight. There, it's, uh, it. it's our conscience please. speaking. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Malia, what you said re reminded me of something I read recently about, um, it was Andy and Cosmo Vision. I, I cannot hear you, Derek. I'm turning them up. I got them turned up now. Okay. I think it was um, on, on something I was reading about Andy and Cosmo Vision, their view of the world. Oh, like, go, go for some zoom in. Yeah, zoom in. So more of a central, uh, south, it's south American, focus -ish. Um, ancient, indigenous kind of worldview. Of, it's pretty different from seeing just only biology is living, but more of a what we would normally consider, like Western culture would consider Crank inanimate this objects down a as bit. having their own sort of consciousness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think when you're that intimate with your natural world and not disconnected from it, that those understandings that you're interconnected and related naturally flows from that relationship. And it's, you know, kind of reflected in the language, you know, that we look at things as kin, as ohana, and not as things. And so oh, yeah, um, let I me think do that's a rapid focus here. Go a little more right. In and indigenous tad cultures. Up. More right. A little more right. Another bump. That's it. That's all you got right. Uh, okay. Thanks. I'll make it work. Wow. Put some exposure wow. here. No, no, we have to say it. Black level yeah, down. Alright, <laughs> okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, nice. Kupai Hanaha. Kupai Anaha. Yay! Maikai Pololei. Yay! Cut the background. No. I think 
Alright, that's my background. Mark that. That's my foreground. And to the background. There you go. And then back. And one more rack focus and we're out of here. Actually, I'm going to rack back and zoom. All right, cool beans, resetting. Cool beans. Nice, nice video work. That was beautiful. Push in. Yeah. Yeah, I'm channeling my oh, inner, Roland. <laughs> inner Roland. Inner <laughs> Roland. Uh, yeah, yeah. There you go. They just hit port in Seward today. Wonderful town. Fourth of July there is awesome. It Seward, is Alaska. Nice, yeah, nice town. Yeah. Although I've heard Exit Glacier does not exist anymore. What? Yep, gone. Uh, sad. I used to work up there in the summer as a, as a guide for a couple years on the Kenai Peninsula. Yeah. It's a beautiful area. That's a long drive down from Anchorage, though. It's a beautiful drive. That's awesome. <laughs> I love that pass right when you get past Girdwood turn on to the peninsula. Yeah. Beautiful. I remember the first time I tr was on a shuttle bus driving that and it just kind of blew, blew me away. I have a good picture of my dad and I at Exit Glacier back when you could walk up to it. Ed, you're getting a lot of props for your beautiful imagery. Uh, so I just wanted you to know. Team effort up here. We also have a lot of people in the chat learning new words with us. And after that last stop and those images, they were so beautiful. We've got a lot of kupaya naha oh. being practiced in the chat. I love it. I swear we should make a word every watch. Yeah. I've been a writing Hawaiian some down. Like I I write some down too, but I know I spelled them. <laughs> we really called this well. an eel 20 other times. What do I we call it now? Octopus or something? What? What? Taco. Yeah. No, that's Japanese. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. this morning I wrote the Aloha La Aina. Yeah, that's uh, what I wrote this morning. Aloha shrimp. Aina. Tugger. Yep. Feel it. Yeah, we can do a word every every watch. Yes. So for the uh, photography buffs who are watching, our yeah. our camera has an infinitely variable iris. Uh, so instead of going in fixed steps, uh, we're constantly changing iris as we get further away from subjects and closer to them. And today uh, we've been gone between. F3.5 and about F12 when I'm zooming close, especially on the lighter colored objects. And those are weird numbers because the value changes constantly. Uh, but it's not apparent to the viewer, at least I hope it's not. down at the bottom there on the bottom of the frame right. There's something large and white up upright. Up and right. to the right. It might just be that sponge.
Okay, so words that I've learned so far, I've got Mauna Kai yes. for seamount. I've got uh, for sponge, Pua Kai. Oh, it's further to our right now. Mm -hmm. oh, That's all right. And then I've got Pa Lahalaha for Gio. This would have been a good dive to have a wide uh, oh. brow on it. Mauna Kai, Pa Lahalaha. Okay, I need to write the car. Okay. Oh, wow, look at that. It's quite an overhang. Yeah. Sorry, I'm writing down all the words that <laughs> you have said. <laughs> And this has all of those um, those other octocorals in the, the vine-looking ones that Asaka was asking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the Stolidiferous octocoral. Kind of reminded me wow. of, like, mycelium on fungi, the way they look from a distance. This is so This rock is gorgeous-looking. Yeah, it's cool. Do you want to collect it? Yes. All of it, the whole thing. Please. We'll just lock down the whole rock. <laughs> just take it with us. Just latch it underneath. Uh, yeah. Turn Herc into Atlas. Yeah. <laughs> Carrying the whole rock. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Speaking look of how F beautiful. stops. Holy smokes. Bright, bright, bright. Up another 150 meters. Need a thousand in no time. So, Hannah, at this rate, we're going to get to your sample spot around uh, 7 7.30. 7.30. <laughs> Yippee! Yippee! <laughs> Ed, someone is curious about the average ISO speed. Yeah, so I think what they're asking about is the ISO, the uh, light sensitivity of the sensor. And we run at ISO 100 all the time. Uh, if we are super low light for some reason, we can increase that by, uh, uh, you know, right the too. video camera, we do an equivalent of adding gain, which is the same as going to high ISO. Uh, but the imager that we're using is a pure video imager. Uh, that's a, it, Interesting. Uh, um, made by Ikonami with a Fujinon broadcast lens on it. Nice. Thank you for explaining that. And if you're really in the cameras in a couple expeditions, they're going to be doing a whole uh, expedition dedicated to an imaging solution. So stay tuned for that. Okay, someone's asking about the Hawaiian word for Gio. Now's my time to practice. Yeah. Okay, here I go. <laughs> All right. I've got it written down. Hannah, are you ready to write it? I, I already wrote it. You did? Yeah, I did. So you want to practice with me? Yeah, I'll practice with you. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Ma Mauna Kai. Mauna Kai. Pa -la -la -ha -ha. Try it again. Okay, <laughs> let's go separate, separate. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll go first. Okay, Mauna Kai, Pa, Lahalaha. What is that? What, what is, is that stuff? That is a sign of falling. What? Ed, can we get a... Can we highlight low light this? Okay. Tori, we will continue. Okay. <laughs> Mauna Kai, no, Mauna, Mauna Kai, catch up. Pa, Lahalaha. Pa, Lahalaha. Pa, Lahalaha. Oh, yeah. yeah it's definitely All right, I'll turn your iris down a bit. Can you even see the damage to the coral that was torn yeah. off in the process right there on the yeah. edge? Yeah. It's definitely a sign of crawling. This is a part where it yeah. broke off because you the coral was anything. too strong. In this case, because they're so gigantic. Um, right. You might be surprised. This is 100% evidence that this indeed was a trawled area and that they could not see where they were trawling on the bottom. 
to make it appropriate. So what what depth are we at? We are currently at, where are 1, we? 1,283 meters. Yes. Okay. So that makes sense for the trawling? Yeah, that can be down here. Okay. Good. So this is one of our objectives, Ray, to kind of identify mm -hmm. if there was trawling that was occurring yes, or did been. occur. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's unclear. That could have been um, from a midwater trawl. Bottom trawls, you're going to see weights and chains and, and otter doors on them. We might see that those sort of detached gear uh, higher up. So just to be clear, we're talking about historical fishing impact uh, not, not necessarily uh, this one of the one of the research questions is if it's still ongoing illegally um, because this is pretty far out and it's I mean it's hard to patrol this and, uh, size of a monument so uh, and when we're right on the edge edge of it at the far end so it could be still actively trawled and this is part of the expanded area of the monument that uh, uh, was incorporated in 2016, right? Right. Yes. So trawling? Huh? Wait, so yes? Yeah. So so dark out here. What are we? Ten meters off of that wall? Um, Less. Yeah, ten meters off of that wall. And yeah. Right. I'm trying to catch up. F two point eight. And, and we have coming at us. a ton of light. Yeah, I think if they were weighted bottom trawls with otter doors, it would rip the coral right off. This this could have been either a midwater net or some other sort of net. And another question about cameras. Which expedition is the one you were mentioning earlier? Uh, NA-156. 156. I think the, the DVL on this wall is probably just... Hmm. Oh yeah, advanced. ocean exploration through advanced imaging. Nice. Wow. Can we stop and look at that coral, please? Wait. Right there, the big one. Oh. It has a bunch of, almost it's branching off. And it looks like different colors. This, this looks so intense. Go for zoom. Gone in. Holding there. Oh, what oh is too going much. On here? <laughs> it's like a collage. Wow. I don't. Are these zoanthids, or is this some kind of weird color more? It's almost like when you see a, an apple tree and it's spliced into another one. Yeah, Asako, do you have any input on this? You can get to a closer zoom if you want. You can see a yellow want. skeleton going in. Yeah, you can go in. You're just further. flying, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just flying. Yeah, get a zoom in Maybe on all the colors, down please. a bit. Thank you. That's great. Oh. I have no idea what's going on here. This is... Does it look like it transitions the purple to the orange right there on the tip? A little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's like you can see it co covered on the branch there, yeah. top left. Are these multiple parazoanthids, or is this the same organism? Just an operational question, quick. Are we going to want to visualize this a little longer? Um, we we're, can, we're getting behind. Yeah, yeah. we can move on, but just one more okay. out shot. Please. Okay. Coming out, holding. And a slow pull to say goodbye. Thank you, Coral. All right. I catch up. Pull wide. No push.
Oh, it's a squid. Or an octopus. Oh, octopus. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. All right, we're going to have to stop the ship. You want yeah, to stop the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Can you turn oh, off auto heading? Wow. Bridge nav. Can you please do it all stop? You might have to step back, too. Thank you're going to have to step back, I think. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Amazing. Wow. Kupai Anaha today. So many of these we've been seeing. <laughs> yes. Kupai Anaha. Big 20 meter moves. Kupai Anaha. Yeah. Anaha. 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 Bridge nav. Why are you putting an H in front of it? <laughs> Kupai Anaha. No, no H. We do a 20 meter move bearing 040. There you go. I think you're muted, Anna. <laughs> uh, zero point. There we go. Three. Thank you. <laughs> the octopus is like, what the heck? What is this noisy, bright thing? Wow. Um, it's like, hey, what are you guys shooting? Huh? Hopefully not me. <laughs> <laughs> So excited we got to see one. Yeah, me too. I wonder if we got a species I'm so idea. glad it's alive. Looks a little bit like Rimpo Toothis. Wow. Looks like yeah. what? Rimpo Toothis. Rimpo Toothis. Ah. Oh, we got another friend. Oh, come on, predation event. I know that the giant squid is Architoothis, but I know that from a Peter Benchley book. Are we good with the lasers, or you still want them on? Um, up to you guys. Oh. What? Uh, lights. Roger that. Oh, it's rippling yeah, along that's, its head. That's us. It's our thruster wash. No, I know. Yeah. yeah. Need more tether? Yeah. I don't think we need to be super close to it to image it either. Yeah. But you clearly need to get set up first. Bridge nap. We do a move two zero meters at bearing zero three zero. Thank you.
everyone in the control room's like, what a beautiful organism, except Hannah's like, you're costing me a rock. <laughs> Honestly, forgot we were looking for a rock, or we were going to. We can just grab one in front of the, the octopus. <laughs> Maybe the octopus could bring us one. Yeah, we can train it. <laughs> oh, that's a good shot right there. Oh, I love it. Well, I'm just going to take off. I think it would have by now. Uh, it's probably curious about us, too. Hold this I love your eyes. Yeah, I was going to get tucked around. I think it's amazing how smart they are. He just, uh, I guess he can't look up far enough. He's going to say, just land. We can shoot Wait, it from Martin, here, too. We don't have to. Did you tell me that octopuses, they have like a donut? Yes, um, most octopuses have a donut shaped brain. Yeah. With their esophagus going through the middle. Really? Yeah. Yeah. But they're soft. I, I, wow. I was like, yeah, oh there, my there God. are some octopuses that can die if they swallow too big of a meat piece. <laughs> <laughs> because that's they'll, just, they'll just cause brain damage. <laughs> <more generally. laughs> that's, that's not that funny, but it's just it's just an uh, interesting design. Sebastian, do the deep sea um, octopus and the ones in the shallow have the same kind of lifespan? Um, no, they don't. Um, shallow water octopuses usually um, go about uh, for a long two to five years depending <laughs> life cycle and they die in their reproduction cycle as a part of their reproduction that they go into senescence protect their eggs until they hatch and then they die because during that process they forgo eating you, i can um, tell you've done your time at the gpo exhibit at the seattle aquarium i have <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> The deep sea octopuses, however, are very long lived, and there even have been observations in Monterey on the Monterey Can Canyon of deep sea octopuses um, nurturing their egg clutches for multiple years and incubating them, the same clutch, and then going on to live after their incubation. Um, but you can also see that they, that in certain spots, there are warm springs that they will all gather and lay their eggs, and octopus gardens mm -hmm. are what they call them, to help speed up that process and make their eggs hatch a lot faster opposed to just a cold cliff wall in the sea. Oh, well, thank so, you for sharing So, so instead of getting heartburn, they get brain burn. I guess. Cuz like my, you know, your esophagus is heartburn, never mind. <laughs> Mind burn. Amazing organisms. And we have a small black fish right there, I believe. Can't see what it was, though. Another fun fact is that a lot of these deep sea octopuses do yeah, not have the chromatophores these, these that the shallow water octopuses usually. have. So they are unable to change oh color. see what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, still getting tugged. The eye really. Oh. That's a nice shot. Yeah. Do they have islands? Um, I believe octopuses do not no, have islands. Come all the way out. I think they've actually seen so like double octopuses like Can you sit down rubbing below their us? tentacles to get stuff out of their Pretty eyes. Big. Or just go from here. I I am set down. Shall we move on? Yeah. Yeah, so. let's move on. The um the Atalanta sonar looks like Japan. <laughs> Bridge, nav. I just thought I needed to mention that. I'd like to track a line bearing 212 at 0 0.3 knots, please. Thank you. I think I'm looking off to your port. Just so you're aware. Could be wrong. Wait, did you call in a move? Yeah. Can you actually stop that until I get back underneath? Sure. Bridge nav. 
Can you just uh, all stop for now? We'll, I need to reposition the vehicle until we can call that move in. Thank you. Sorry about that. That's all right. Wow. I'm really glad we got to experience that. There's been so much cool things to experience on the Seamount in general. Mm -hmm. It's definitely one of the most biodiverse habitats I've ever seen. I, I literally cannot wait for the name. I am so excited for when they name this one. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and they're taking all this information, all the research that's been done, you know, descriptions. So I can't wait either. It's probably going to be Kupai Anaha. That's literally <laughs> what I'm thinking. At this rate, may Koopa Anaha Seamount. The Wow Seamount. Uh, bring up the Seattle Aquarium. It actually brings back a very particular um, memory of a person who visited frequently the octopuses at the aquarium. Um, we called him the Octopus Whisperer. Um, man would come in and visit the aquarium literally every day and go most of the time only to the GPO, the Giant Pacific Octopus Exhibit, and he would talk to the octopus. <laughs> and insisted so to the volunteers that he was in a emotional relationship with said octopus mm. and um, would insist that they want to be released and to go into the wild <laughs> um, and insisted that it was the same octopus every single time even though we would replace our octopus and we release them back in the wild every six months he insisted it was the same octopus I wonder if he still goes today <laughs> It sounds like he's dedicated. I feel like he does. <laughs> yeah. Did the octopus um, exhibit any behaviors that it um, acknowledged him or knew him? No. Or was there anything <laughs> in that in the realm? Or? No, or just, I'm just sure he has a different answer to that. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely, it, the, most of the time, the octopus is like to stay in their corners. And sometimes uh -huh. they were active, but they never really showed interest in any particular one person. Oh, interesting. Except for the person who was feeding them. Of is it normal? Adelaide is still still moving. Is it normal? I tried to back out. I am backing out. But <laughs> Adelaide is still just swinging back. Is it normal for um, how long do uh, aquariums hold their fish for? Um, it depends on the species. Okay. Um, for octopuses, it's usually a pretty quick turnaround. Usually a couple months because wow. they know that they have a short lifespan and they want them to reproduce. Mm. Um, how long is their lifespan typically? Uh, for the giant Pacific octopus, it's usually two years. Oh. Yeah. Really? Yeah, they're very oh. short-lived so for how big short they are. Um, but yeah, that's why we have such a quick turnaround. Um, we actually even have, uh, if we know we have two older octopuses and it's the right time of year, we have a Valentine's Day event Aww. where we'll try to open the barrier in between the two connected tanks and see if they mate or not. I was lucky enough to be scuba diving I have to think about where West Seattle once, and there was a giant Pacific octopus out in the open hunting Whoa. and keeping. And not only was it really cool to follow that for 10 or 15 minutes of the dive, but that dive was on like a midday Tuesday. And knowing that the rest of the world was in an office made it even better. Uh, you have to be very careful around them as scuba divers, though. Yeah, they're, they're, definitely they're so some. curious. Yeah, because they're very giant and they're functionally all muscle. Yeah. So if they want to like investigate you and grab onto you, they may just They'll accidentally pull your regulator. injure you and like pull out, like out of the sockets, everything. There have been incidents where octopuses have grabbed the mask, pulling it off to see what it is, accidentally drowning some divers. Oh wow. Uh, yeah. Like when you say they're big, how big? Eighteen um, they, feet across. Yeah, they can grow how extremely many? large. How many? Eighteen, one eight. Oh gosh. And yeah. the mantles, uh, I don't know. Mantle is usually about three. Yeah, feet three there. feet. They get that big in two years? Yeah. Oh. And the um, eyes are usually about the same size as the largest suckers 
that are near the mantles, the mm. graspers. But then the like one flaw of nature is their exhaust ports are not camouflaged. They're like very, very bright. Yeah, they're white. like bright pink Can and I white. Correct yeah. this when you're in auto yeah, you, head. Yeah. Yeah, you can correct it. If you want to square up your camera, you want me to just push through the push past the vehicle. I can square up. So it's only auto XY where that's bad. Yeah, it's only auto XY. Have you guys seen the movie My Octopus Teacher? Yes. yes. Yeah. 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 It was an interesting one. Fish. I think one of the last watches may have talked about it because I saw people in the comments <laughs> <laughs> mentioning it. Mm -hmm. Is it a documentary about octopuses? A uh, single octopus. Yeah. A single. Okay. I've never yeah. seen it. Like, it's one where, like, this guy goes and visits it over a couple of years and, like, becomes its friend and learns from in it. In the wild. It sounds the like wild. the aquarium guy. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> he's swimming in, like, he's, like, free diving in yeah. freezing yeah. cold water. Um, wow. Yeah, it's pretty it's Dedicated. It's a good movie. It's sad. It's sad. But well, now no one's going to go see it. <laughs> well, it is a shallow water octopus, as I mentioned. So they die. The die short lifespan. Yeah. Jeez, you guys are spoilers. <laughs> oh, God. Spoiler yeah. alert. All right, it's now a documentary. We, now we're for movie. It's like Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, Take old Yeller off so here you, to watch no, this. No, I know. I was going to say, old Yeller, Marley and me, like you get attached to this octopus and then oh, get destroyed by it emotionally. Bridge, Nev. Gosh. I think Marley like and track me is a like line bearing 212 at 0 0.3 knots. <laughs> Hannah, I think the uh, octopus has killed your dreams of another sample. Thank you. I know. Val's going to have to take it for you. I know. It's, it's <laughs> fine. It's fine. <laughs> the one thing that she's okay with taking away from her. Yeah. You know, we got her to that position, though. Yeah, we did. We got her to that. Yeah, why is it, that orange guy right there? I know, that's what I was thinking. Can we get a zoom in? Or is it we're trying to catch up? No, we, we can get a zoom. Springsteen. Oh, they're anemones. Okay. Still want to zoom? Um, I think we're good. All right. <laughs> oh, there's a big What's crab. That? What's that underneath? Yeah. yeah. We can zoom on that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Cool. Oh, they look like they're hugging. Oh. You might be doing something else. <laughs> um, I'm Rich actually man. towards the... Let's go for a zoom. Let's <laughs> see. <Okay. laughs> they're like, freeze. I'd like to modify <laughs> that bearing to 225, please. They can't see you if you don't move. Thank you. Another Steven Spielberg reference. Wow. Oh, wow. I wonder, I do think that there is a normal size difference. And it looks like there's little cra clams right there, too. Clams? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see them. Oh, my God. oh, wow. I didn't know that. Or scallops. Uh, they live this far down? I'm not sure. I think they're, like, talking. They're definitely talking. <laughs> Cute. We were just talking about Valentine's Day octopuses, and then we have <laughs> Valentine's Day crabs. They're bright red, too. Yeah. What, what species is that? Um, I've seen these before. I don't know the name top mm, of my spiky. head. I can go up real quick. You want to zoom on these little clams, too? Yes. Sure. All right, go I'm glad we zoomed Gone in. in. That's full huh. zoom. Roger. They're like clams or scallops of some sort. Yeah. I haven't really seen anything coming out of them. Coming out. I think they're a species of king crab. For what? Yeah, of this course. looks like. A second, all loads. Lithoides. Longy spina. Literally, that's the name. Longy spina. Longy spina. 
What was that the name of? Um, those crabs. The Ooh. Thoides, Is there Lami, one right Spina. There? Mm hmm. Actually, I don't know. No. I see just a red dot. Yeah. Hercules. Look at all that. Look at that rock. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. look at that. It's so, so cool. Beautiful. Oh, where? Ah. Oh, large plexorids, too. Oh, my gosh. I love. <laughs> that is very cool looking. Oh How should I describe this in a highlight description? Uh, lava forms. Mm -hmm. Say sheet, layered sheet flow. I don't know if that's correct, oh. but it's what I'm going to say. Okay. It's my best bet. And then we see, suddenly see a huge diversity out of nowhere of corals. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, we're going up a ridge. Yeah, so this ridge, now we're kind of on the south facing side of the ridge that we came up. Yep. I, I believe. We're by the collapse. Hey, let's go up here. <gasps> what? <laughs> wow. Wow. Is this the tr troll? No. This okay. is not troll. This is definitely no. geological. Yeah. Whatever <gasps> this is. Light yellows. Huh. Is that a fish? Sponge, S I think. Sponge or, yeah. Oh, okay. It almost looks like sedimentary. Yeah, it's like yeah. sedimentary mm -hmm. rock. With little bits of basalt. Those look what like they've fallen from above. Lounged van. Yeah, yes. go ahead. This is hyaloclastite. <gasps> Dave deposit. Wow. Hi what what was that? Val, can you spell that? Hyaloclastite. Can you like write that down somewhere yeah. so I can spell it? Yeah. Hyaloclastite. Uh, oh. H Y A L O C L A S T I T E. Thank you. Hello, cluster. Val, can you explain that to well, you, us to me? and the audience? Yeah. No, no, just tell our viewers because we definitely yeah, yeah. we definitely know. Okay. Well, this is the type of rock that I was saying that I don't typically want to sample okay. for my research. Let's uh, let's let Val let's tell let tell Val SPL explain. what that is. Thank you. Okay, so um, a hyaloclastite is uh, a combination of a volcanic and a sedimentary rock, or volcano-sedimentary for short. And uh, this is a very high-energy sort of deposit that's uh, um, erupted near a volcanic vent. So somewhere around here, pretty close by, is an old extinct volcanic vent. Wow. What happens is you get this, uh, you get lava that jets out of the um, out of the vent and into the water column, and it kind of gets torn apart in that process. And then uh, these little fragments of lava quickly cool and deposit uh, in, in kind of this big pile. And uh, because it's very porous, it alters super easily. Mm -hmm. There's probably also some degree of like hydrothermal activity or something contributing too. Uh, and it alters it really quickly. So it was probably originally basaltic in composition or uh, very similar in composition to uh, the rocks here but it looks very different because it's very heavily altered and uh, 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 changed by uh, hydrothermal and or uh, seawater processes. Thanks, Val, that is Thanks. fascinating. I didn't I know any of that. You're that. welcome. Thank it, you. It's something that's not, like, we see it fairly commonly, sort of, uh, uh, when we dredge seamounts and stuff, occasionally we'll get, we'll get like hyaloclastites that come up, and we've seen it on some of the dives out here, but it's one of the lesser known rock types. That's out cool. There. Mm -hmm. Love that. Back to your normally scheduled watch. Thank you. Thank <laughs> Thanks, you, Dr. Val. Val. You're welcome. Yeah, we were just sitting so here stumped. Cool. I'm glad that she, she piped in. That's awesome. Oh my god. That was the first time I've ever seen it. 
Not in a textbook. Yeah. In a textbook, they. It's ha ha high low class type. High low class type. It's also, I have it. Yeah. Did you guys notice if there was any organisms growing on it? No. Well, there was like okay. a sponge or two, but there wasn't much on it. Well, what's interested what in is that all the communities around it suddenly appeared when it appeared. And these have a far different community composition than we've seen up to this point. You can see a lot of those purple plexorids, size of Victoria Gorgias, and a lot of these branching, like sparse branching white corals. Do you want an eDNA sample? We should take an eDNA sample here. Yeah, we want to be at an altitude under under three meters. Should we pause? Yeah. A high low clastic eDNA sample. Nope, that doesn't make sense. All stop, That's, please. This is how you spell it. High alloclastite. Got it. Pepperite sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. Glass. 19.3, let me see. So I need to get... I um, didn't even, so I don't even know what it would look like submerged. Is that an iPad? Yeah. I need to get an iPad with a stylus like that. That is super cool, because I underline stuff all the time. But I use, like, my mouse and, and click highlight and stuff. Yeah, no, I love reading papers on it. What, um, what's the app that does that, that opens them? Um, you can do either Notability or I have Good Notes. Good Notes? So... Hmm. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Super helpful with papers. Yeah. For students, the uh, note-taking apps now will actually record audio and sync the yeah. audio to your notes. Yeah. So if you go back to a note and want to know what the lecture was about, you can just play that part of the audio. I just Living read... Living in the future. From the textbook, it mentioned a small proportion of thin folded sheet form particles in the hy hyaloclastite resembles lime of Pele produced when lava from Kilauea volcanoes enters the sea and interacts with the seawater. Cool. Hmm. So, cool. Sebastian, um, which one are we pulling? Three we're or two? Pulling three. Three. Wow. Dark green, please. Dark green. Gosh, I just thought that was a fish. <laughs> <sighs> he needs some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. <laughs> it came out like in the screen, and I wasn't really like watching. I was just like out of the corner of my eyes. I thought it was like a fish swimming into view. <laughs> yeah, Shark. so chilling. I can always dream, right? Wow. Yeah, that one's always like poking out a bit more. Yeah, it needs to be uh, short, the shortened. I think we should get a lottery ball machine there and just. <laughs> <laughs> Bingo machine. There it is. Mm. Got Miskin it. triggered. It's been triggered. Uh, sample zero five two. Nice. Yeah, that that's a good one. I know. I you know we're at the proper altitude for that, so that's uh, that's awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Are we only using these water samples for eDNA? Yes. Okay. That's thanks. Correct. Sebastian, when you have a moment, could you share a like young uh, child or like kid-friendly like marine biology fun fact that you found that like kids really like to hear? Ooh, okay. Let me think. Okay, when you have a second. Uh, so, just general marine biology, or what we're looking at type of biology? Uh, just general marine biology. General marine biology. Okay. About any maybe like a specific species. Um, Mantis shrimps can see three different wavelengths of light that we can't. 
can't. Ooh. I'm not sure we're going to beat the uh, the donut shaped brain in an octopus. Yeah. Though. That's too. That's yeah. kind that, of that's a, a very fun that's a winner well. for the watch. Just in terms of an ocean fact, it's pretty Just cool. And that most most fish cannot see the color red. Huh. Right. Oh well, well, I was going to say that's why the corals are that color, but they can't, it's all black down here anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And if we're talking about three-year-olds, that'll naturally prompt the follow-up question, why? <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready for ship move. Roger that. We are zoom in. Bridge nap. Yeah, for sure. We do a ship move one zero zero meters bearing two three zero. Uh, yep, at zero point three knots. Thank you. One of the uh, vessels that Tito and I have worked on before on the Thompson, there was a shipmate uh, uh, deckhand, A.B. Dana, and she would take the unused water from the Niskin and extract the sea salt from it and give it to shipmates as a gift. You could take home salt from the bottom of the sea. Yeah, I got some of that sea salt. But another interesting story about Dana was uh, she spent her childhood on a... Uh, schooner with Sterling Hayden. Yep. I don't know if you ever read that story. Yeah. Yeah. Super impressive. I just read the book not too long ago and she's mentioned oh in chapter three or chapter four. Sorry. <laughs> so what's our favorite um, thing that we've seen during watch? Our favorite what? Just favorite thing we've seen. Was it the octopus or uh, the sniper eel? Hyaloclastite. Same. The sniper eel. The I haven't seen a shark yet, which is kind of annoying, but that's okay. Definitely for me, the snipe eel or that coral that had multiple different oh, yeah. zoanthids on it, making it give multicolor. I like the octopus. Honestly, the hyaloclastite was pretty cool. I, I have to say the hyaloclastite. And just some of the other lava flows are the just come up amazing. or go down? I just, spectacular. That was, was the PM, first time right? I saw it. Yeah. Like, crazy. But some of just like the sheet flows and other stuff are just nuts. Yeah, it's nighttime. Yeah. Beautiful. Sorry, I just got lost. It's hard to pick out just one. Yeah. This is so a good watch. Much amazing. So this is a good watch. Yeah. Kupaya this is a great sea Naha. Yes. Kupaya Naha. Kupaya Don't watch change Naha. the video. Oh, sorry. Let me know if you need Hi. a zoom. <laughs> oh, it's 710. Just so our viewers are aware, we already have some people switching over to the next shift. Um, this has been such a, such a good one. Um, and I'm so excited to share with the next you shift everything we see. Before nice. I go, that is Rel Campia. Anemone. Aloha. Good last Ahoy call, ho. Sebastian. Oh, that anemone is so cool. Uh, 
I was just giving them something to look at. It's fine. Aloha. Aloha viewers, thank you for tuning in. This is Daniel Kinzer. Get ready, eight to 12, watch is back. Yeah, oh my gosh, the four to eights though. Kanaloa showed up for them big time. We were watching downstairs. Massive Dumbo octopus, hope you guys didn't miss it. Incredible, incredible creatures of the deep. What was the eel, snipe? Snipe tail eel? Well, that was unreal. Unbelievable. We are out here, unnamed Seamount number 17. Going to get a beautiful Hawaiian name guaranteed in Papahanaumokuakea. And uh, 8 to 12 watch, just bringing it to you live, bringing it to you for real. Um, just uh, sharing this, uh, dropping this knowledge, dropping this library of knowledge from the deep sea right onto your computer screen for you. you we're glad you're here. Um, we're thankful to be here as a team. Love these guys. They can't hear me right now. They're, they're busy uh, changing watch, but I love them so much. They're already like family and uh, taking great care of each other, taking great care of the ship, taking great care of the ROVs, taking great care of me. Takes a village. Takes a village. <laughs> oh, this is uh, outstanding. We got some great questions coming in. Keep them coming over on Nautilus Live. We want to break some uh, viewer records. So tell your friends, tell your grandmothers, tell your grandfathers, mamas and papas, tell your babies. <laughs> Let everybody know. Shout it out. We're live. Unnamed Seamount number 17, Papahana Mukuakea Sacred Waters. Tuning in to Kanaloa live this is sacred we enter with reverence and humility um, uh, but just so incredible joy we are joy. heading up this incredible ridge here joy. to get to the top of the seamount and then we're ba we're going to basically shoot across just the top of it um yep that's the plan i think they want to stop maybe somewhere in here for a rock sample it looks like yeah They suggested just tracking a line at like 0 0.3, 0 0.4 knots. You wanna try that out and see how it goes? All right. Mm -hmm. 
Got our navigator and ROV pilots just settling us in, getting us ready to take us further up slope. We're uh, sitting at just over 1,200 meters deep. Uh, inching along today, strong currents, steep cliff faces, incredible biodiversity, amazing geology, volcanic plumbing. You really couldn't ask for much more. Four to eight brought the show to you guys and uh, we are we are hoping to continue massive corals incredible sponges so val i see marked on here rock sample target is that on your radar you it really is always on my radar okay all right <laughs> you're always on my mind for somewhere around 1200. okay um Sounds good. I'm not picking you up on mic. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no worries. We're still getting a little settled back here. Yes. Uh, so, um, yeah, I think uh, that rock target is a reasonable one. So uh, if there's something good there, uh, pick it up. If it doesn't look like there's anything we can pick up, we'll just keep looking. How much room do we have in that oh, tray? Wow. It's like a Mary Poppins bag over there. We're just uh, mm -hmm. packing those rock pohaku away today. I like it. Yeah, thumbs up from Dr. Val. Wow, those are beautiful. We got a little bit of everything going on here. Yeah. Oh, and there's that parazoanthid wow, on man. it as well. And Stolen. This is unbelievable. Bunch of sponges. That's awesome. Can't stop, won't stop. Yeah, great. great. There's a fish there too. Yeah, no, we're good. All right, 8 to 12, finally getting settled in. Robert Waters in the pilot seat, right next to Zach <laughs> yeah. Gonzalez. Oh, <laughs> <It's on> <laughs> Taking us along this beautiful seamount. This seamount wall and ridge line loaded with life, incredible biodiversity. I've been learning a lot of coral and sponge names, slowly but surely, doing my best. So are those the Victor Gorgia? Victor Gorgia. Actually, I think some of them are Plexor Plexorids. Okay. Um, Purple Plexorids. The, the polyps are smaller. Okay. Um, but it is, it's, it's not always the easiest to tell either. I think I'm seeing some more of those uh, bivalves that we were seeing in the lounge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we saw some when we were in the lounge, but <laughs> yeah. Eight to 12 watch, having a great time watching the four to eight watch uh, <laughs> and listening to them from downstairs in the lounge. I think we have an answer to who watches the watches. Yeah. It's the watches. It's the watches. We are self-observing. <laughs> <laughs> we need no supervision. Oh, wow, yeah. Looks like a whole bunch of really small cup corals. Because everyone's asleep by now. <laughs> <laughs> are those, those are really small cup corals? From, that's my, that's my. Wow. I mean, it looks like it from here. If, if you're able to zoom in a little bit while we fly, like a flyby zoom on some of that rock face so that we could see that'd be cool but um robert do you think we might get a chance to zoom on one of these rock faces while we go no we're actually we stopped here so yeah mm -hmm. so do you guys see a spot in particular are you looking at like the little white wow. spots yeah. on the face? So if we've got the time, I mean, I, I see that Hercules is kind of at the edge there. There were some um, very small cup corals. Um, that these might be some more of them, but they were orange. Oh, actually, these might be them. Ah, right there. Yeah, okay. right in front of us. That'd be convenient. I think I see a purple sea star right. in the lower right. Yeah, that'd be amazing. 
All right, I got to tell video to zoom in. So. <laughs> it's more of a. Oh yeah, I know. I'm just thinking. <laughs> I'm just thanking you both for it, anyways. Okay. It's much appreciated. <laughs> wow, look how smooth that rock face is. A ton of stuff on those rocks. Oh <laughs> yeah! Wow. wow. Oh, and you're right, there's a little bivalve right there. And a cup coral right there. It's a very highly polished manganese well, I was crust. Just thinking That's how, awesome. How shiny. Yeah. Oh, they've been there's cleaning up this joint. This is some nice. Sure have been. Sponge. That's this amazing. Oh, a nice at. crinoid. Seamount is putting on quite yeah. the show for us. Yeah, absolutely. This is wonderful. I'm we not like even you, Seamount 17. You deserve a wonderful name. <laughs> it's coming. I know it's coming. Uh, also, someone online offering awesome. to do all of our laundry if That's we'll let them come on expedition with Ooh. us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty yeah. nice. Hey. As someone who just had to, you know, <laughs> wrestle with, washing with the machine. washing machine this yeah. afternoon. What is it? Someone that said is script tempting. rating or something like that. Send, it, send in your resume. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Look at these deep black purple crinoids. Oh, That's I wow. And some more um, urchins over there too. And Aritagorgia. That's awesome. Oh, if that's we need to get moving though, that's totally yeah, fine. We're yeah. getting jerked around a lot. That's, that's awesome. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, let's get a move on. Yeah. yeah. Bit, We've got a pretty good idea of what's here, I think. Is that a dead basket star? Or is it alive? Uh, Where? That one that we just zoomed out of. Oh no, I think that's alive. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we don't need to zoom back in on it. It just looked a little less um, vibrant than the others, so it caught yeah. my eye. Eh, maybe just different coloration. Yeah, the rocks look pretty glued down around here, so um, this, that may or may not be a uh, wow. important really nice for our sample ones, site. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, they are. Some beautiful pahaku. Some buds down there. I was going to say, we're approaching kind of that target area where someone marked rock sample target. That's, yeah. That's some nice looking rock right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, if we're moving, it's we got to move. I was going to say, well, you're going to be, I think, maybe a little further up because here you're going to be getting yeah. tugged on. So it might be a little yeah. harder. Yeah. Yeah. So stay a little in this area, just a little further up. Is that shrimp? Yeah. Yeah, these rocks are just gorgeous. Oh, shrimp and another pseudoanthomastus. Uh, Pseudo and the masters. Color, really. There was a the new branch. Oh, oh. What? I saw. A... We're moving. We're moving. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we are moving through the far northwestern reaches of Papahanaumokuakea on unnamed seamount number 17. This is dive number six. I'm losing track. Uh, <laughs> on the Ala Amoana Kaiuli expedition, the path of the deep sea travelers. Thank you for being deep sea travelers with us tuning in online and uh, watching on YouTube or hopefully on mm -hmm. Nautilus Live where you can share your comments, your questions with the 8 to 12 watch. We're excited to be with you for the next few hours. Um, take you from here to midnight on uh, the world's greatest watch show. Yeah. yeah. Aloha my kako everyone. Thank you for viewing with us this evening. I know it, it's the 15th day at sea and all the dives start seeming uh, to blur together, but we are being blessed with this beautiful Momona, this beautiful abundant uh, Monokai Seamount in the Papahanaumokuakea Marine National Monument. Um, just so much biodiversity, so much vibrant colors, and really excited to be here to see all of this, to witness all of this with you folks. So mahalo nui. Amazing to think Mahina Ohana back home, able to view this footage, yeah. maybe even watching it live and, and uh, revealed to them mm. uh, the proper name of this unnamed seamount. We're yes. going to start naming our Mauna, Mauna mm. Kai. Um, you know, uh, Kanako Iwi going to be able to give them the names that are most appropriate. Uh, and it, I'm so excited uh, to hear that. I'm, I'm Daniel <laughs> Kinzer. Too. Call Honolulu home, science communication fellow on board and just... Uh, the biggest fan of everyone here in the control fan, control van. Absolutely love them. I know we got a lot of fans out there. We've heard you shouting out. Yeah. Let them know. Let them know that you're here. I'll be sure to show them the comments. <laughs> Glad to be here. Val, your watch lead, our fearless watch lead. Want to introduce yourself to everybody tuning in? Thank you, Dan. I'm Val Finlayson, uh, postdoc at University of Maryland, a geologist. Um, 
isotope geochemist. I specialize in uh, the uh, chemistry and origins of uh, intraplate uh, seamounts, like this one. Um, yeah, this is a, it's, it's, it's been quite a pleasure to uh, go and survey this seamount for the first time. Um, it's uh, really giving us uh, a lot to look at and a lot to marvel over, so. I'm really hoping we get to see a Dumbo uh, octopus on our watch. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. Whoa. So. We're asking for a lot, Kanaloa, kind of but we, we know you love us. It's the 8 to 12 <laughs> watch calling. <laughs> sure. So Absolutely. Just real quick, anywhere in here, this is going to, like, right from here on forward, just let us know if you see any. This is we'll the do. Rock yeah. Right here, it's looking like things are pretty well crusted over, so I'm not seeing anything that looks like a good sample target right now, so. Uh, for the time being, uh, yeah, let's let's keep moving on and seeing what we see. Virginia, you want to introduce yourself to everyone listening out there? I know you're checking out all the biology, but oh yeah, sure. I actually was just checking out this coral, which looks like a juvenile Metallogorgia, um, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm Virginia. I am a PhD student at Florida State University. I um, I have the privilege of getting to study some of the seamounts within Papanamakuakea Marine National Monument. I Can we zoom um, in? am a deep sea yeah, coral and you know seamount community ecologist, um, and it's such a privilege and an honor to be out here with uh, my crewmates. And and this seamount is just um, going above and beyond any expectations I had. So this is pretty amazing to be a part of. Is this the one you were looking at? Yeah, so this is a Metallogorgia, and you can see actually it's got its, um, I think it's an obligate associate. Uh, there's a Brazingid, nope, not Brazingid. It's, there is a sea star, a particular sea star of which the name I have forgotten, but it lives within the, like the, you know, the, um, it lives within this coral. Um, and it will live within that coral for the entire length of both the coral and that ophiroid. Ophiroid is the name, ophiroid's um, life, which is pretty phenomenal. Um, and they grow up with that coral. Um, it's pretty amazing. And so these, you've seen Metallogorgia and they'll be sort of have a planar face. And as they grow, these will sort of move in a singular direction this way. So do they kind of shed planar. off like some pine trees will? Um, not not so much that they will like, well, actually, I'm unsure. I'm not positive which okay. one. I think the, the theory is that these actually move up as it as it grows. Migrating branches. Huh. I have no idea. Maybe they do branch off. I'm not positive. Yeah. So, but yeah, yeah no, they're, it's really interesting to see, but. Yeah, because you yeah. see that, that branch shedding is like uh, white pines grow mm -hmm. up in, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, above the 45th parallel thereabouts yeah. in the U.S. Awesome. Thank you for that. Yeah, that was wonderful. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. And look at all these. It's pretty cool having a lifelong pal like that. I know. It's, it's great. You got a built-in best friend. Yep. Mm -hmm. I am here for that. <laughs> so, yeah, no. It's Makes wonderful. me curious about all the obligate associates I might have and maybe didn't even know about. <laughs> oh, <laughs> We could tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to think about it. <laughs> yeah, don't make me think about it too uh, much. On that note, uh, <laughs> let's pass it over to our light, our uh, well of knowledge. Kukui. Mahalo nui, dan aloha, anoe meke aloha kakoa, ovo kukui, no moeo. Aloha everybody, my name's Kukui, I come from Maui and I am one of the data loggers on board and I'm super blessed and humbled to be here with all of you folks on board and on, sh and on shore to be able to visit this very special place in Papahano Mokuakea, um, one of our very special Monakai seamounts. So, mahalo. Mahalo you, Kukui. Appreciate you. And uh, front row, if it's a good time, we'd love wow, to we'd love to row. hear from That's you. That's That's a beautiful point. Amazing. Pohaku. Whoa. Yeah. We've got like look at about. what is this square rock is doing? That a, and is, is that a door to a lost city? What is happening just, here? just kidding. Just kidding, <laughs> internet. Just kidding. <laughs> mm. Looks like some stuff that tumbled down and may have broken apart. You know, Po is considered a portal. So we as Kanako Evie do see this our portal. 
um, to our life beyond, our life from before and our life beyond. And you know, Virginia, what you were saying earlier, just about how you study communities, like that mm -hmm. word definitely sticks out to me, especially witnessing this seamount, um, this Monokai for the first time. So I just see so much life here, so much diversity. And that's what a you know, truly healthy community is to me in my book. Yeah. No, it's it's so amazing and and um you know, there I, I don't see a way in which these these corals, whether I mean they are distinct, but they're utilizing the same resources they you know, these these corals and the, the the organisms within like around them and on top of them and the sponges, like they're all a part of this larger picture of, of life on this seamount. So yeah, it's pretty communities awesome. Communities within communities within communities. It's Absolutely. really, uh, it's really beautiful. Coexisting. Reminds me of great. home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we probably need to yeah, that's move great. off of that. Absolutely. Yeah. If we can. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to just go up or do you need a... Uh, I could go up. I can go up. Um, we don't want to move. Pretty close there. Dr. Val, when the time is right, a lot of curiosity from viewers online about what we've learned or observed about the potential formation of this seamount so far based on based on what you've seen. I know we just came on to this second watch, so um, you might need some more time to, to process this. But Yeah, uh, probably will. People online are, are mm -hmm. uh, definitely curious. You've uh, sparked a lot of interest in <laughs> rocks. You can You're doing your job. Wow. You can come up a little bit. Uh, well, what I can say so far is that earlier today when we were on watch, uh, we did see some of the internal uh, plumbing system of this volcano that was exposed by the uh, uh, the cliff face that we uh, were uh, struggling to get up for a while. Um, uh, yeah, so we see, uh, we, were, we were seeing uh, combinations of lava flows, and then those were cut through by what we call dikes, and those are... Um, intrusions of lava that were moving down the uh, down the rift zone uh, down to the outer flanks of the volcano and uh, helping uh, those those supply melt to um, uh, some of the uh, more distal uh, regions of the volcano and uh, that uh, sometimes erupts out and helps build up the uh, volcanic structure that way but we uh, we're seeing uh, on this cliff, um, yeah, the fact that we could see into portions of that plumbing system tells us that, uh, yeah, that um, what looked like a possible flank collapse in the uh, uh, bathymetry we collected um, prior to this dive, uh, that, yeah, that looks like that was really the case and uh, gives us an idea about um, some of the uh, uh, formation processes of a geo like this one, which is a uh, flat topped volcano with um, rather steep sides. Yeah. So you can't really see into a plumbing system unless you, uh, unless you uh, uh, basically take part of that wall away. Expose but that flank. That has some yeah. of that has to has to fall off, which is what we've uh, what we've been witnessing throughout this dive. Amazing. Oh, yeah, and we chalicle? could tell it happened a long chalicle. time ago um, with how thick the manganese crusts are looking, how well developed they are on uh, <gasps> the vast majority of these surfaces. What kind of fish is that? And just before uh, coming on watch, yep. just before coming on watch, we uh, saw some hyaloclastites, which meant that we passed pretty close by one of those uh, volcanic vents uh, along the uh, rift zone. Oh, it it is one of those little. Um, is that uh, a chonicops? Yeah, um, I don't know if it's a chonicops exactly. I think it's um, a relative of them. Definitely yeah. a relative. I have the name in my brain, and it's not getting to my mouth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, that's one of the always always a fan favorite. Wow. Yeah, we've seen uh, seen one or two of these guys. The, they look like they need to shave a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm oh, no one to talk. I love it. <laughs> You're at sea. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And we have a... Uh, Whoa. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I love Hi, bud. <laughs> we showed one of uh, these friends to a group of elementary school students this morning on one of our live ship to shores, and they just went crazy for it. 
Oh, that's fantastic. So fun. That, that that actually might be it. That could that be a shot, shot today. That's all I got. Maximum zoom. Awesome. Maximum zoom. Oh, amazing. Or low for today. It's not very big. Yeah. yeah. And it's not <laughs> flat like an Ogo. Yeah. So Are the lasers on or this off? Yeah, you can zoom, so out beautiful. Beautiful. zoom out. Zoom out. Slidinia? There's the lasers. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Oh, you're right. Oh, it's could so be. Little. Yeah. Yeah. Just a baby. Yeah. yeah. So. I think it's yeah. in the, the loaf of forms. Yeah, the loaf of day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're great. And we got a nice little urchin there, too. That's wonderful. Awesome. Thank you so much for that zoom. Yeah, mahalo. Okay. Moving on. Do we see any rocks that you say something? Maybe. Um, I'm not really seeing anything, so let's keep going. Dr. Val, and it's uh, maybe also a question for Robert is, uh, you know, is it possible that some of these rocks could, I mean, I suppose it's definitely possible, but how likely is it that we might see a rock fall or some, some aspects of the steep wall kind of start coming down? And, and uh, I guess that's a question for Dr. Val and maybe also to Robert, has ever seen that happen? And, uh, <laughs> and uh, what do we do? Now. What do we do? <laughs> wow. I haven't seen it happen, but it sounds like Robert may have. <laughs> Robert, you dodged a, a, a little rock avalanche it before? Was on a, yeah, it was on a, uh, a training dive in Alvin. We were at uh, Juan de Fuca in the, in the vent field at Endeavor. And, uh, we went around a vent, and there was a big tailless slope on the side. And the trainee pilot bumped the wall, uh -oh. and about oh. a 900-pound rock just oh, poof, no. right onto oh, the no. basket. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. Oh. That go, did it send Alvin tumbling or spinning right. around or anything? Just pinned us to the bottom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh my gosh. No, absolutely. For, those, for those listening in not familiar with Alvin, uh, that pilot is inside of Alvin. So uh, getting pinned to the bottom is a little more nerve wracking. If we're here for a second, could we get a zoom on one of these corals or this one? This might be a good yeah. rock sample spot if we can yeah. put down. Yeah. Even better. You can, you can plant here. It looks grabbable to me. Looks grabbable to me, too. <laughs> oh, nice. Mahalo, Robert, for that uh, for that bit of drama oh, and story. So we, oh, we were able oh, yeah. to. Oh, tumbling snail. Oh, 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 doing, <laughs> doing their thing. Gosh. Uh, so we were were able to push that rock off the basket. Of course. Yeah. Good. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Obviously, since you're back. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm very well, the, glad. The science basket on Alvin can be released as well. Uh, so, okay. So Smart. Worst case, you could dump it. Yeah, and that is that is the thing with talus slopes, both uh, in submarine and terrestrial environments. They tend to be right about at the angle of repose, which means they're uh, very easily disturbed. Just waiting to fall. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you have to be really careful, and that's why I keep saying Amazing. never cross a talus pile, like I've done. Just don't uh. do it. <laughs> it's just not safe. Don't pull a Dr. Val or a Robert Waters. Do as I say, <laughs> not as I do. So I was yeah. piloting at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Awesome. Yeah, but who was, who was his teacher, Robert? Who was his teacher? Huh? <laughs> wow.